Hi everyone, I'm Daniela and I teach nutrition after school with KYDS. I hope you've been enjoying your summer so far and congratulations again on doing such a great job with distance learning. So I wanna give you a little bit of information for you to use at home with your parents and guardians and siblings and all the rest of your family about how to make healthy choices. So what we're gonna do to read a food label, you have to look at the back of the package, which is usually where the information is. There's a few things I wanna point out to you so you can make a more educated choice. First, something you can do to compare is looking at total fat. So for example, here on this bag on the left, there's four grams of fat and here there's barely even one gram. Something we wanna check in addition to total fat is how big the serving size is. So this serving size is the container, is the bag itself, as is this. But you have to be careful because sometimes bags that are a little bigger have two servings in them. And when there's two servings in them, you have to double all of this information because it only gives you information for one serving. So serving size is really important when you're picking a healthy snack. So we're gonna look for other pieces of information. Sodium, there's a di discrepancy here. This has way more sodium than this bag, but this has more fat than this one. So sometimes we'll get information and it's hard to make a clear decision about which is better for us. So this is when you just do your best and try to find a package that has the lowest sodium, the highest amount of fiber. Fiber is here is what makes us feel full. So both of these just have one gram. You wanna try to have snacks that are more than four or five grams of, sugar, of fiber because they make you feel full longer. Another thing you could do when making a healthy decision is look at ingredients. So you'll notice that this green bag has less ingredients than the black bag. Another way to help decide is noticing if you can pronounce the words in the ingredient list. Sometimes the words that are hard to pronounce mean that they have more chemicals and are more processed. The words that are simpler means that they're generally whole foods and generally healthier for you. So it's not ever easy to pick a healthy choice because it's not always clear which is healthier for you. What you do is just try your best looking at fat, sodium, protein and serving size, and all these other information to try to pick one that's best for you and your family. I hope this helps and I hope when you go grocery shopping, you're able to give a little bit of more time to the food labels. Thank you, and I hope you learned something.